What's going on guys, my name is Alan and welcome to another commentary. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about Michael Hastings. Uh, Michael Hastings was an award winning journalist. He uh, is most known for a piece he did that led to the resignation of uh, General McChrystal. Um, and he died in a car accident at 4.30 in the morning on uh, June 18th. And um, you know, before he died, he uh, it expressed concern to a few of his friends about uh, he was he believed the FBI was investigating him um, now that's uh, no one's really sure if that's true or not yet um, but when when a when you have a strange now we'll admit this is very strange um, when you have an incident that happens at that time in the morning um, and when any government agency is involved with it um, it's it's sounds like conspiracy um, but I kind of wanted to bring up something that I kind of thought here today. Um, okay, let's just pretend here the FBI or whoever in the government did assassinate uh, Michael Hastings. Um, why would they bother investigating him? Why would they bother going through an investigation on him? You know, because no matter how much you try and hide it, you know, people are, it's, it's going to come out that they were investigating him. You know? Just doing an investigation on him, having paperwork behind it, having agents involved with it. It's gonna, people are gonna, you're gonna create suspicion there. Because if they're about to assassinate somebody, why would they bother investigating him in the first place? It just creates suspicion. You know? If they were gonna do it, they wouldn't bother doing an assassin, they wouldn't bother doing an investigation. Because last time I took, if you wanted to secretly assassinate somebody, you know, by secretly I mean like you, you can deny all involvement in it. You wouldn't want. You would want to have no official documents or people behind it at all, so you can just like you never touch, never touched it at all. You know, it's. Uh, I remember um, one of the big things uh, 9/11 truthers used to do was um, about 9/11. FEMA did a, I believe FEMA did a drill, a biochemical drill the day before 9/11. I believe may have been a few days before, um, and it was FEMA. So government agency people believe that it was FEMA did it you know because it happened an official event happened before the um, incident you know if they were going to plan a bomb a, you know bombing something why would they do something official that just creates suspicion that's just going to make them link to it and this is so soon after his death that nothing is certain you know no, no investigation has gone into his death yet. I mean, there's one going on, I'm sure, now, but nothing has gone into it yet. So, one thing we should learn from Michael Hastings is, is, uh, he was an investigative journalist. He investigated things. He gathered information. He compiled it. And then he reported on it. You know, if anything we should learn, we should learn how to go about, if anything we should learn from him was to how to tackle stuff like this. You know, when there's something that's strange like this, it's kind of it's peculiar. You don't just spout out bullshit and try and sound cool or edgy or whatever. You gather information. You wait. You don't just start talking prematurely when you have no information yet whatsoever. And you know, since 9-11, it just seems like everything is a conspiracy. You know, 9-11, as I said, Sandy Hook, um, you had, um... Boston bombing that happened recently. Um, you have all this inform, all this these things that happen, and you know it's a conspiracy. Everything is a fucking conspiracy. These people, and that is not the right way to go about things. If you're going to criticize the government, if you're going to go in there and do like he did, and you know say what the government is doing wrong, you need to do it with fucking brains. You know you don't go in there. You need with brains. You need to go in there and do it with a. Uh, logic and reason you don't just spout out bullshit because then you're just a fucking nut you know so that's kind of all i had to say here um so catch you guys later